Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the lives of 30 beloved celebrities who have left us, but their legacies live on. From Hollywood icons to music legends, their passing may have gone unnoticed. Join us as we uncover the fascinating stories behind these stars you may not have known had left us. Now, let's get started. Dolores O'Riordan, born Dolores Mary Eileen O'Riordan on September 6, 1971, in Limerick, Ireland, was an Irish singer, songwriter, and musician. She rose to fame as the lead vocalist of the rock band The Cranberries, which became one of the most successful bands of the 1990s with hits like Linger and Zombie. O'Riordan's distinctive voice and songwriting prowess earned her widespread acclaim and adoration from fans worldwide. She released several solo albums and collaborated with various artists throughout her career, showcasing her versatility as a musician. Tragically, Dolores O'Riordan passed away on January 15, 2018, at the age of 46. Her sudden death shocked the music world, and she was mourned by countless fans and fellow musicians. O'Riordan's legacy lives on through her timeless music, which continues to resonate with audiences and inspire new generations of musicians. Richard Griffiths, born on July 31, 1947, in Thornaby on Tees, England, was a renowned British actor celebrated for his remarkable talent and versatility on stage and screen. He gained widespread recognition for his portrayal of Uncle Monty in the cult classic film With Nail and I, 1987, and as Uncle Vernon Dursley in the Harry Potter film series. Griffiths enjoyed a prolific career spanning over five decades, during which he earned critical acclaim and numerous accolades for his performances in theater, film, and television. His notable achievements include winning a Tony Award for Best Actor in a Play for his role in The History Boys, 2006, and receiving a Laurence Olivier Award for Best Actor for the same production. Tragically, Richard Griffiths passed away on March 28, 2013, at the age of 65, due to complications from heart surgery. His legacy as a consummate actor and beloved figure in the entertainment industry continues to be remembered and cherished by audiences worldwide. Robert Osborne, born on May 3, 1932, in Colfax, Washington, was an esteemed American film historian, journalist, and television host. He became best known as the primary host of Turner Classic Movies, TCM, where he introduced classic films and provided insightful commentary on Hollywood's golden era. Osborne's passion for cinema and encyclopedic knowledge of film history endeared him to audiences, earning him widespread admiration and respect. He played a pivotal role in preserving and promoting classic cinema, serving as a prominent advocate for film preservation and appreciation. Throughout his career, Osborne received numerous awards and honors for his contributions to the entertainment industry, including the National Board of Review's William K. Everson Award for Film History. He was also inducted into the National Film Preservation Board. Robert Osborne passed away on March 6, 2017, at the age of 84, leaving behind a rich legacy of knowledge, enthusiasm, and appreciation for classic cinema that continues to inspire cinephiles around the world. Don LaFontaine, born on August 26, 1940, in Duluth, Minnesota, was an iconic American voice actor best known for his legendary work as a narrator in movie trailers and commercials. With his deep, resonant voice and signature catchphrase in a world, LaFontaine became synonymous with movie trailer narration, earning him the nickname the King of Voiceovers. LaFontaine's illustrious career spanned over four decades, during which he lent his voice to thousands of trailers, commercials, and television promos. His distinctive voice became an integral part of Hollywood marketing, contributing to the success of numerous films. Among his notable achievements, LaFontaine received a Lifetime Achievement Award from The Hollywood Reporter and was inducted into the American Advertising Federation's Hall of Fame. Tragically, Don LaFontaine passed away on September 1, 2008, at the age of 68, 
due to complications from a pneumothorax, leaving behind a lasting legacy as one of the most recognizable and influential voices in the entertainment industry. Peggy Lipton, born on August 30, 1946, in New York City, was an American actress, model, and singer who gained fame for her role as Julie Barnes in the groundbreaking television series The Mod Squad, 1968-1973. Lipton's portrayal of Julie Barnes, one of the first young female characters on television to portray a hit, counterculture figure, earned her critical acclaim and popularity among audiences. Throughout her career, Lipton continued to appear in various television shows and films, showcasing her talent and versatility as an actress. She received a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in a Television Series for her role in The Mod Squad. Tragically, Peggy Lipton passed away on May 11, 2019, at the age of 72, after battling colon cancer. Her legacy as a trailblazing actress and cultural icon continues to be remembered and celebrated by fans around the world. June Foray, born on September 18, 1917, in Springfield, Massachusetts, was an American voice actress who became renowned for her versatile voice and contributions to animation. Foray's career spanned over seven decades, during which she lent her voice to hundreds of iconic characters in animated films, television shows, and commercials. She is best known for her work as the voice of Rocky the Flying Squirrel and Natasha Fatale in the animated series The Rocky and Bullwinkle Show. 1959-1964. Foray's exceptional talent and distinctive vocal range earned her the title of the First Lady of Voice Acting. Throughout her career, Foray received numerous awards and accolades, including a Daytime Emmy Award for her role in The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle and a Grammy Award for her album The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle and Friends. June Foray passed away on July 26, 2017, at the age of 99, leaving behind a lasting legacy as one of the most iconic and influential voice actresses in animation history. Luke Perry, born on October 11, 1966, in Mansfield, Ohio, was an American actor best known for his role as Dylan McKay on the hit television series Beverly Hills, 90,210. 1990-2000. Perry's portrayal of the brooding and rebellious Dylan catapulted him to fame and made him a teen heartthrob of the 1990s. Following his success on Beverly Hills, 90,210, Perry continued to work in television and film, appearing in various roles that showcased his acting range and versatility. He also starred in the television series Riverdale as Fred Andrews, further solidifying his status as a beloved television actor. Perry's achievements include multiple Teen Choice Awards and nominations for his performances in Beverly Hills, 90,210 and Riverdale. Tragically, Luke Perry passed away on March 4, 2019, at the age of 52, due to complications from a stroke. His untimely death was mourned by fans worldwide, and he is remembered for his talent, charm, and impact on the entertainment industry. Rutger Hauer, born on January 23, 1944, in Brukellen, Netherlands, was a Dutch actor renowned for his captivating performances and distinctive presence on screen. He rose to international fame with his role as Roy Batty in Ridley Scott's iconic sci-fi film Blade Runner, 1982, where his portrayal of the enigmatic and philosophical replicant earned widespread acclaim. Throughout his illustrious career, Hauer showcased his versatility by portraying a wide range of characters in films spanning various genres. He appeared in notable movies such as The Hitcher, Lady Hawk, Batman Begins, and The Osterman Weekend. Hauer's achievements include winning a Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actor in a series, miniseries, or television film for his role in Escape from Sobibor, 1987. Sadly, Rutger Hauer passed away on July 19, 2019, at the age of 75, following a short illness. 
His legacy as a talented and influential actor continues to be celebrated by fans and colleagues in the film industry. Michael Parks, born Harry Samuel Parks on April 24, 1940, in Corona, California, was an American actor known for his captivating performances across film and television. He gained prominence for his roles in various Quentin Tarantino films, including Kill Bill, Volume 1, 2003, and Kill Bill, Volume 2, 2004, where he portrayed Texas Ranger Earl McGraw. Parks' career spanned over five decades, during which he garnered critical acclaim for his versatility and depth as an actor. He appeared in numerous films and television shows, showcasing his talent across genres. Throughout his career, Parks received several awards and nominations, including a Best Actor Award at the 1969 Cannes Film Festival for his role in the film Bus Riley's Back in Town, 1965. Michael Parks passed away on May 9, 2017, at the age of 77, due to complications from heart failure. His legacy as a talented and versatile actor continues to be celebrated by fans and colleagues in the entertainment industry. James Karen, born Jacob Karnofsky on November 28, 1923, in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, was an American actor known for his prolific career spanning over six decades. He gained recognition for his versatile performances in film, television, and theater. Karen's breakthrough came with his role in the cult classic The Return of the Living Dead, 1985, where he portrayed the character of Frank, a role that cemented his status as a beloved character actor. Throughout his career, Karen appeared in over 200 films and television shows, showcasing his talent across a wide range of genres. He was known for his ability to bring depth and authenticity to his characters, earning him respect from both audiences and peers. James Karen's contributions to the entertainment industry were significant, and he received praise for his dedication and skill as an actor. He passed away on October 23, 2018, at the age of 94 leaving behind a legacy of memorable performances and enduring impact on the world of film and television. Norm MacDonald, born Norman Jean MacDonald on October 17, 1959, in Quebec City, Canada, was a Canadian-American comedian, actor, and writer. He rose to prominence as a cast member on Saturday Night Live in the 1990s, where he anchored the Weekend Update segment with his dry wit and deadpan delivery. McDonald's career extended beyond SNL, encompassing stand-up comedy, acting roles in films such as Dirty Work (1998) and Billy Madison (1995), and voice work in animated series like The Fairly Odd Parents and Family Guy. Known for his unique comedic style and fearless approach to controversial topics, McDonald was widely regarded as one of the greatest stand-up comedians of his generation. Despite his achievements, McDonald's life was tragically cut short when he passed away on September 14, 2021, at the age of 61, after a private battle with cancer. His legacy as a comedic genius and influential figure in the entertainment industry continues to be celebrated by fans worldwide. Honor Blackman, born on August 22, 1925, in Plaistow, London, England, was a British actress renowned for her captivating performances on stage, screen, and television. She gained international fame for her iconic role as the Bond girl Pussy Galore in the James Bond film Goldfinger, 1964. Blackman's career spanned over six decades, during which she showcased her versatility as an actress in a wide range of roles. She also starred in the hit TV series The Avengers as the iconic character Kathy Gale. Throughout her illustrious career, Blackman received numerous accolades and nominations, including a BAFTA Award nomination for her role in the film Life at the Top, 1965. On April 5, 2020, Honor Blackman passed away at the age of 94 at her home in Lewis, Sussex, England. 
Her legacy as a trailblazing actress and cultural icon continues to be celebrated by fans and colleagues in the entertainment industry. Sylvia Miles was an American actress known for her distinctive presence on both stage and screen. Born on September 9, 1924, in New York City, she began her acting career in the late 1940s and gained recognition for her roles in theater productions such as The Rose Tattoo and The Three Sisters. Miles' breakthrough came with her Oscar-nominated performances in the films Midnight Cowboy, 1969, and Farewell, My Lovely, 1975. She often portrayed brash, outspoken characters with a touch of glamour and eccentricity. Throughout her career, Miles appeared in over 70 films and television shows, showcasing her versatility as an actress. She received critical acclaim and several awards nominations for her performances. Sadly, Sylvia Miles passed away on June 12, 2019, at the age of 94 in Manhattan, New York City, due to complications from a stroke. Her legacy as a dynamic and unforgettable actress lives on in the hearts of audiences and fellow performers alike. Jerry Stiller was an American actor and comedian, born on June 8, 1927, in Brooklyn, New York City. He rose to prominence through his comedic talent, often portraying eccentric and lovable characters on stage, screen, and television. Stiller gained widespread recognition for his role as Frank Costanza on the hit sitcom Seinfeld, 1989-1998, earning him critical acclaim and a dedicated fan base. He further solidified his comedic legacy with his portrayal of Arthur Spooner on the sitcom The King of Queens, 1998-2007. Throughout his career, Stiller received multiple awards and nominations for his performances, including an Emmy nomination for Outstanding Guest Actor in a Comedy Series for his work on Seinfeld. On May 11, 2020, Jerry Stiller passed away at the age of 92 in Manhattan, New York City. His comedic brilliance, infectious energy, and unforgettable performances continue to be celebrated and cherished by audiences around the world. Tanya Roberts was an American actress and model, born on October 15, 1955, in the Bronx, New York City. She initially gained fame as a model and appeared in numerous commercials and magazine spreads before transitioning to acting. Roberts skyrocketed to international fame with her role as Julie Rogers in the fifth and final season of the hit television series Charlie's Angels, 1980-1981. However, she is perhaps best known for her portrayal of Stacey Sutton in the James Bond film A View to a Kill, 1985. Throughout her career, Roberts appeared in various films and television shows, showcasing her talent and versatility as an actress. Some of her notable works include The Beastmaster, 1982, and That 70s Show, 1998-2004, where she played Midge Pinchotti. Tragically, Tanya Roberts passed away on January 4, 2021, at the age of 65 in Los Angeles, California, due to complications from a urinary tract infection that led to sepsis. She is remembered for her contributions to the entertainment industry and her memorable performances on screen. Norma Michaels was an American actress, born on January 17, 1924, in Los Angeles, California. She gained recognition later in her life for her roles in various television shows and films. Michael's career took off in her senior years, with her most notable role being that of Josephine in the hit television series King of Queens, 1998-2007, where she portrayed the sharp-tongued mother of lead character Carrie Heffernan. Her portrayal of Josephine garnered her widespread acclaim and endeared her to audiences. Throughout her career, Michael's appeared in numerous other television shows including Modern Family, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and Parks and Recreation showcasing her comedic talents and versatility as an actress. Norma Michaels passed away on January 11, 2021, at the age of 96 in Los Angeles, California. 
Her legacy lives on through her memorable performances and contributions to the entertainment industry, earning her respect and admiration from fans and colleagues alike. Denise Nickerson was an American actress, born on April 1, 1957, in New York City, New York. She rose to prominence for her role as Violet Beauregard in the iconic film Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, 1971, where she portrayed the gum-chewing girl who turns into a blueberry. Nickerson's early career was marked by her notable performance in Dark Shadows, a popular gothic soap opera, where she played the character Amy Jennings. She also appeared in various television shows and films throughout the 1970s and 1980s. While Nickerson achieved recognition for her role in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, she ultimately stepped away from acting in the late 1970s to focus on her personal life. Sadly, Denise Nickerson passed away on July 10, 2019, at the age of 62, due to complications from a severe stroke. Her portrayal of Violet Beauregard remains a beloved part of cinematic history, endearing her to fans around the world. Patricia Elliott was an American actress, born on July 21, 1938, in Gunnison, Colorado. She gained fame for her work in the entertainment industry, particularly for her roles on stage and television. Elliott's career was marked by numerous achievements, including winning a Tony Award for Best Featured Actress in a Musical for her performance as Countess Charlotte Malcolm in the Broadway production of A Little Night Music in 1973. She also received critical acclaim for her portrayal of Rene Devine Buchanan on the soap opera One Life to Live, a role she played for over two decades. Throughout her career, Elliot demonstrated her versatility as an actress, appearing in various stage productions, television shows, and films. Her dedication to her craft earned her respect and admiration from both audiences and peers alike. Patricia Elliott passed away on December 20, 2015, at the age of 77, after battling cancer. Her contributions to the entertainment industry continue to be remembered and celebrated by fans and colleagues. Diana Sarah Carey, born on April 3, 1918, in Chelsea, London, was a distinguished English actress known for her remarkable talent and enduring career in film, television, and theater. She gained prominence for her versatile performances across various genres, captivating audiences with her depth and authenticity. Carey's career spanned over eight decades, during which she appeared in numerous acclaimed productions, including stage plays such as The Heiress and The Father, as well as notable films like The Breaking Point and They Shoot Horses, Don't They? Her contributions to the entertainment industry earned her widespread recognition and numerous accolades. Despite her advanced age, Carrie remained active in her craft until her passing in 2020 at the remarkable age of 101. Her legacy lives on through her timeless performances, cementing her status as one of the most revered actresses of her generation. Diana Sarah Carey's cause of death was attributed to natural causes, marking the end of an extraordinary career that left an indelible mark on the world of acting. Jack Sheldon was an American actor, jazz trumpeter, and singer known for his distinctive voice and charismatic performances. He was born on November 30, 1931, in Jacksonville, Florida, USA. Sheldon rose to fame as a jazz musician in the 1950s, collaborating with notable artists like Stan Kenton and Benny Goodman. However, he also found success in acting, appearing in numerous films and television shows. One of his most notable roles was providing the voice of the Bill in the animated series Schoolhouse Rock, which aired during the 1970s and 1980s. Throughout his career, Sheldon earned acclaim for his versatile talents and his ability to captivate audiences with his performances. He received several awards and nominations for his work in both music and acting. Sadly, Jack Sheldon passed away on December 27, 2019, at the age of 88. 
His legacy as a multifaceted artist and his contributions to both the music and entertainment industries continue to be celebrated by fans and colleagues alike. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more intriguing content. Until next time, remember to cherish the memories of these remarkable individuals who have left an indelible mark on our hearts and in the world of entertainment. Stay tuned for more updates on the lives of your favorite stars.